Cheers, legends. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. Welcome to another instalment of Macro Monday. This time we've got Great Northern, which at the moment is the most popular beer in Australia. So I've got the original, which is 4.2%. And then the Super Crisp, which I think is 3.5. It doesn't actually say on the bottle. Well, not that I can see anywhere, but hmm. very popular beers, these two. Um, yeah, it's sort of that typical macro beer, reasonable price point, very, very easy drinking. Someone like me just finds them very, I don't know, generic, very plain. But I thought... I haven't done them on the channel, and being Macro Monday, we've got we need something, and it's a good way to do side by side just to see what the difference is between the two, whether there's much like subtle flavour differences or like the finish or the body. Yeah, let's do it. I'll crack the original first, and I'll just go straight out of the bottle. I mean, you can clearly see the colour and the body through the glass, so. So, yeah, lively carbonation, straw in colour, like it's like a light straw. Um, yeah, very clean and clear, definitely like light-bodied. Let's go a little whiffy. It's always tough to get a good aroma out of the bottle, especially if it's like a macro beer. Like it smells quite like biscuity. There's not much aroma to it at all. Maybe a touch of like lemon. Anyway, let's go a taste. Yeah, biscuity, white bread, even like that grainy sort of feel. I'd say probably like lemon, maybe a touch grassy. It's, yeah, very, very easy drinking. It's, yeah, quite, I always find these beers quite watery. It's not much to them. Yeah, very light body. Maybe a little touch of bitterness, but nothing major. Yeah, it's definitely like a barbecue beer. They advertise it as like a beer when you're outdoors, like fishing and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, I feel like most of these beers, like most of the time, they're so popular but just because there's not much flavour to them. And, like, a lot of people out there can't handle flavour in beer. They just want something that tastes... Very, very plain and subtle. So, yeah, I think they promote them as like a Queensland beer. But it's like Carlton United Breweries, which obviously sort of started in Melbourne and it's like owned by, it's owned by one of the big conglomerates, Asahi or someone like that. Yeah. So let's crack the second one. In colour, it looks very similar. Probably looks even lighter in body. Might be a touch lighter in shot, like in the colour. They look pretty similar. Yeah, I'd say they're the same in colour. But, yeah, similar carbonation, clean and clear. Yeah, it just has that touch like it's, you can tell it's like a bit lighter, probably lighter malt base. Yeah, the aroma on this one's even more subtle.
Yeah, you're getting that sort of grain. Doesn't come as cross like as biscuity, maybe like bready, but very, very, very subtle. And I'm getting that similar sort of lemon note as well. Anyway, in we go. So, yeah, super crisp, this one, and this was three and a half. Definitely more watered down than the first, and, yeah, the bitterness hardly there. Yeah, it's not, it's not packing as much like flavour. This would be the ultimate slugger, like people that people that just want a beer that tastes very like very subtle. So yeah, it's like mid strength, three and a half. Yeah, crispy boy. It's not really doesn't have much sweetness, quite dry. Yeah, it's very, very light. I feel like I'd have to drink a whole slab of these just to get a buzz. <laughs> but, yeah, you're getting that subtle white lemon note. But, yeah, it's very, very light. Like, yeah, you're not getting much malt, like, malt flavour at all with this one. And, yeah, the bitterness is hardly there. I reckon the IBUs on this would be about five. <laughs> yeah. So, Great Northern for me, not a big fan at all. And I don't understand the hype as to why they're so popular. I think there's just a lot of common folk out there that, yeah, just, they just want something simple, something that you can just crush that, yeah. They just taste very watered down to me a lot. Very little body to them. And, yeah, as I said, like, ABV is pretty low. Like, yeah, I feel like I'd need at least about a dozen just to start to feel a bit of a buzz. But, yeah, being Queensland market base, maybe their yeah, hot weather, who knows? But let's check out some of these comments. Cheers, Angie. Cheers, Adam, on your way to work. It's unfortunate. I've finished work for the day, but it's only Monday, so I still have four days to go, unfortunately. Cheers, Kelpie. Yeah, it's definitely popular. So many people love it, but I think, yeah, if you very deep into your craft journey and you drink a lot of sort of big beers. It's just it, a beer like this comes across boring to me. It's just got no soul to it. Cool. Yeah, I hope you're having a good trip, dude. Seen you've done a few lives so far. Yeah. Out of the two, I definitely prefer the original. The original's just got a little bit more bite to it. Like you can, you get that bitterness on the finish, and it's got more of sort of a biscuity note. I don't know. You can just tell it's a bit more malty. But yeah, there's not much to either of them. Yeah. And that's another thing too, price point. But, yeah, at the end of the day, like, give me, like, VB or Carlton Draft or some of those beers any day over something like this just because they've got way more flavour to them. <laughs> that's when you sit there and you go like this, Luke. And make people seasick. <laughs> cool. 
I'll have to look out for it. I'm back on mornings this week, so it means if I, people are having late drinks in the US or uh, earlier stuff like in the middle of the night sort of thing, UK and that, like I can sort of catch them. Cheers, Angie. Maybe I should do a coup of these two. <laughs> I'll go back and have another sip of the original. Yeah, just on the nose now that the bottle's like half empty. You can definitely get more of a scent. <laughs> But, yeah, coming up after this review a bit later, I've got a craft beer that's sort of a piss take of this beer, which will be pretty cool. And it's by two good craft brewers. Like They've done a collab and they've definitely taken the piss out of this beer with the name and the like the logo and stuff. It's pretty funny. Yeah, the original definitely wins. So if I was to score both of them, I'd say the original, I'd go 3.25 out of 5. And the Super Crisp, I'd go a solid three out of five. To be honest, I'm probably generous in my school. Like, when it comes to macros, sometimes I think uh, I could probably rate them lower than what I do. But I mean, it's drinkable. Like, I don't mind it. But, yeah, just nothing about it excites me. And, like, yeah, it's a... When a beer just tastes very watery, I always like I'm concerned. Like, what what ingredients do they have in there? But anyway, let's do a cuve. The two together. I've got a little glass here I can use. Nearly went all over my laptop. So we've got the Great Northern Kube. What can I call it? I'll call it the Dirty Northerner for Luke John. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, pretty much just tastes like the original. The original sort of... You're still getting the characteristics from that as opposed to the weaker one. So, yeah. Another Macro Monday, done and dusted. See, as I said, the original, 3.25 out of 5. And the Super Crisp, 3 out of 5. And if you're not, I mean, if you're not a big beer drinker, something like this you're probably going to have and think, oh, it, 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 it's got a lot of flavour to it. it Maybe it's just me with, like, an advanced palate. Like, when I have these beers, they just taste very subtle and weak. But, yeah, certainly. I mean, also, too, you might be a person that doesn't drink very often. So something like that, a couple of them, if you're catching up with mates at a barbecue or something. There's definitely a purpose for this sort of beer, don't get me wrong. But anyway... 
Thanks to peeps for chiming in. And uh, we will see you shortly with the craft beer. That's a little bit of a piss take on these. So cheers, peeps.